Welcome to Tech Siren. So, recently my channel reached 2 million lifetime views. As a tribute to all my subscribers and supporters, I decided to make a game with my YouTube subscribers. Wait, let's go back to the beginning. It's been a while since I uploaded my last video. All the videos I have until now is crap. So I decided to make some quality game dev videos, like some of my favorite YouTubers out there. We'll see how it goes. So here is the plan. First, we get all my subscribers' details from YouTube Data API. Then, we'll create a Battle Royale game with 500 of my subscribers. As players, we are going to use tanks. Tanks can move around the map randomly, and if they encounter an enemy tank, they will shoot at each other. The last player remaining will win the match. That's the basic plan we are going to implement. Let's get cracking. Day 1. I am using Unity 3D to build this. Okay, everything is ready. Like Einstein said, everything starts with a cube. Anyway, I've started to build our tank model with just using some cubes. Here's our tank. Looks perfect. Then, I added some basic movements to the player using C-sharp script. Okay, now the player can move around the map. Now, we need to give player ability to shoot. So, I created a projectile using Blender and Photoshop, and added some cool particle effects using the Unity Particle System. Then, I also added Muzzle Flash and Blast Effects using Unity Particles. Here's how it looks. Now, the player can move and shoot as well. But this is not quite what I want. I need AI script to control the movements of the player. So I added a simple script to control the player movements. Hmm. Players look a bit too fast for my liking. So I tweaked some values and now the players move much smoother. and some of them can also fly. That's not a bug, that's a feature. That's it for day one. Day two. In day two, I have continued working on player controller script, and I have added vision to the players so they can identify nearby players and shoot them. And I also added health for the player and destroy when health level reaches zero. Now the players can identify nearby tanks and shoot. Awesome! Now, we need A to design a real tank model to replace our dummy tank. So, I started designing a low-poly tank model from some of the concepts that I found on Google. I am not much of a designer, but I like to design everything by myself without using pre-built assets. Here's how the final model looks like. Now we need to texture this. We will use Substance Painter to texture the tank.
Since I'm using onboard Intel HD graphics, Substance Painter is telling me to back off. No worries, I'll use Blender to do the texture. Here's the final model. I didn't make the model super detailed since I will be using 500 of these tanks playing in the game. Day 3. I have imported my tank model into Unity. It looks pretty good with the lighting. Now I need to get my subscribers list. After going through the bit complicated Google API documentation, I found the solution that I was looking for. Then I created Quick App with Google API to retrieve all the subscriber data to format that I needed. This is the list of subscribers with their name and profile picture details that we fetch from our app. Now we need to create a shield. Shield will restrict the play area of the map. Shield will shrink over time. If the tanks leave the play area, it will get damaged and destroyed. So, I created the simple shield model and added texture to create this cool looking shield. Then, to make things a bit interesting, I have added genetic algorithms to evolve player when they level up. So basically what it does is each player will have unique behavior patterns. When they level up, their behavior patterns will evolve by inheriting the behavior patterns of top performing players using basic genetic algorithm implementation. This algorithm is a bit boring to explain in this video. You can get all the source codes available in my Patreon page. Day 4. Now we need a plane to drop the players into the level. So I started building a plane model from Blender. Two hours later. Here is the final model. Then I imported the model into Unity and started creating a cool looking cutscene. Day 5. It's the final day. I started adding cool post processing effects to the level and polished the graphic a little bit. Then I have created a menu for the game. Here's how the final menu looks like, and I have added game controls also into the menu. Now it's time for some sound effects. I have found some cool sites that provide free sounds, and I got some music from the YouTube video library as well. And I have edited the music a little bit to match the scene. Finally, I have added slow motion effect. I have added button to enter slow motion mode so that I can enjoy the scene in slow-mo. Everything is done now. Before we see the final result, I need to remind you there is a subscribe button below. You are supposed to click the button right now. Just click it. That's it. It's not that hard. So, here is the final result.
I have added all the project files into my Patreon page. Don't forget to check it out. Please add your feedback in the comment section below. And if you have any questions, drop me a message. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this one. See you guys in the next one.